my name's Rich, welcome back to me, my bike and I. This is just a short video on that battery while I'm working on the carburetors and waiting for parts. Now, here's a little trick for you. This battery has got about just over a volt. Whereas this battery has got just over 12 volts, which is a good battery. And unfortunately, I left the ignition on on the bike and this battery will no longer take a charge. As you can see, if I connect up the battery that has got a good charge on it, you immediately see that we have got some progress bars and we're charging really well. But if I connect up this battery, we've got no such progress on the charger and it's refusing to take a charge. If we jump the good battery to the DOF battery, and just give that a few minutes, and we should be able to see. charge across the batteries because they're connected but when you come back to it a little bit later on we'll just take those jumper cables off and we'll reconnect the charger and switch it on now see it's building charge. So I don't know anything about battery technology except that if you almost completely discharge them you can actually inadvertently swap the poles. It's entirely possible to do that and it's possible I guess that when you try and recharge it with a smart charger it just point blankly refuses to charge it if it's connected the wrong way or it just can't determine the polarity of the battery now I don't know but if you jump it across to another battery and get some charge into it that way because there's no smart technology involved then you can reconnect the charger and as you can see it will start to charge and of course I completely drained this battery because I left the ignition on this was off my VF 750F which uh, I've now bought a new battery for, but if I can revive this one, which it seems to be doing nicely, I'll have a decent spare. Rightio, we are now hmm, something like 24 hours later, so let's disconnect the charger, and I'm not expecting to get anything other than just a full charge. So let's see what we've got, shall we? Let me just cradle this camera. Okay. There you go, just over 13 volts, so that's fully recovered. Well, I hope you like that little video. It's just a quick recovery of a dead battery that was refusing to take a charge, and that's how you do it, so hopefully someone out there will make use of that anyway and I did say in the last video the next video would be carburettors and I'll say it again the next video <laughs> will be carburettors I've got three of them there one over there on that bench stripped down and I'm still waiting for parts the rebuild kit that I was sent is the wrong one so I've reordered and I can't really move forward on those until I've got it and I need to get that carburetor and these ones in the sonic bath and get them all completely cleaned and get all that ugly paint off as well actually. 
Uh, and then I can get them all back together and put them aside because the video that will follow will be the engine removal and then we can start the fun process of stripping it down and determining what the fault is with regards to low compression on cylinder number two and the milky oil. Oh, and the white smoke. Anyway, until then, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you on the next video.